one is Del Rey Gill with the r, &R Group, part of Remax Structure. Kind of just wanted to touch base on market predictions for October. I am thinking that we're going to have pretty much the same as September, which is, um, it's a very flatlined market right now. It's just moving sideways. Um, inside real estate tips on when you have a market like that. If you are thinking about selling your house and upgrading, perfect time to do it. Um, right now, with that unease, um, people who are wanting to still sell right now don't have as many buyers that are offering them for um, offering on their properties. So you can get a discount on the purchase side. Yes, you may end up taking a little hit on the sale side, but the the if you're upgrading, the higher price homes are going to take much more of a hit than you are. Let's say if you're selling yours for um, 350 to 450 range, and you're moving up to 650. Um, to 550 range, that 550 house may take a 50, 75 gram price reduction when you on your end may only take a 10 or a 15. Um, so you definitely want to capitalize on that if it is this slow market. Um, also, if you are going to sell, um, I know a lot of people right now who are actually selling and they want to see what happens with the market and they're going to rent for a year. Perfect time to do that as well because also you're gonna cash in on a market where if you are the person that's like, I don't know what's gonna happen, I'm worried, I'm this and that. Hey, you can do that. You can sell your house right now, rent for a year, or rent for six months after the elections, pick back up in the summer. You'll know right away within it gets to about March. We're gonna know exactly which direction the real estate market's gonna head in 2017 you'll get that feeling that momentum will come back and you'll start seeing all of the buyers moving around again if the buyers start jumping all over properties again back in march market will continue to go up because the demand and the houses that are being built pretty much have almost been all sold out they're putting up some new subdivisions but even with the new builds we're starting to see those one to two years out um, at the moment from even being completed or new sub developments um, ground just being broken on the actual subdivision itself so so right now perfect time is to be an upgrade buyer or a cash out buyer um, if you're a seller and you're just wanting top dollar for your house right now and you're maybe moving to another state that could be another um, deciding factor on there so right now with this kind of unease in the market is a perfect time to sell and buy you have both options available to you. You may not get the top dollar, but you're still going to be, we're still in the high market. We're still in a market where it's pretty much at the top or topped out, if they want to say, right now, until the new top out comes and then we beat that. Or if it goes down, I'm open. The real estate market and the real estate industry is going to continue to move no matter what direction it goes in. It just depends on what you're going to do with it. This is Delroy Gill with the r, &R Group. I uh, look forward to seeing you guys again. Thank you.